Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Welcome to another episode of Comet Foolery Exposed. This series is where we expose the hypocrisy in the unambiguous Black community against exoticals. So this episode is about Ice Spice, of course. Um, let's take a look at this comment. I hate how dark-skinned women get treated so horribly in the entertainment industry. So I love how they put Ice Spice on such a high pedestal to the point where they think she represents the entire entertainment industry. And also, um, you sure have a lot of shit to talk for somebody who probably supports the entertainment industry. You probably watch Netflix. You probably are on social media. You probably listen to Ice Spice. Obviously you do because you know who she is in the first place. And so once again, this is another example of selective outrage and I'm no longer caping for women who wouldn't cape for me. I'm no longer going to care about the plight of women who wouldn't care about my plight. And so a lot of unambiguous black women will say, oh, dark skinned black women get treated so bad in the industry, but those same women will still support Hollywood. They will still watch movies. They will still listen to the music that is put out by these quote unquote colorist labels. They'll still listen to rappers and pop artists and like racist colorist people like Chris Brown. They'll still go to their concerts. And so I no longer take it seriously until I see unambiguous black women as a collective, no longer supporting the entertainment industry whatsoever. I am going to consider this to be selective outrage. Somebody else said, who the F is jealous of Ice Spice? Literally nobody. Oh, okay, so you're telling me that anybody can be jealous of anyone except for Ice Spice. That got 3,000 likes, by the way. Meanwhile, Cleo Trappa is literally trying to get to where Ice Spice is in the industry. Cleo Trappa wants to be on the charts and win Grammys, and Ice Spice is already on the charts. And then this person says, Ice Spice using Cleo as a dark skin prop and the help is diabolical. Who said that she's using her as a dark skin prop? That was impressive that said that. Cleo Trappa didn't even say that about herself. So that shows you what impressive thinks of Cleo Trappa. And it's like, okay, they're using her as the help, but it's Ice Spice's tour. Like, what is she supposed to do? Is she supposed to get off the stage and like give Cleo Trappa her entire tour? Like, of course she's the help. She's the opener. She's not going to come there and take over the tour. This person says the fact that Ice Spice hasn't been in this industry for long yet and she is already falling off. Karma is real. Actually, Ice Spice's fame is going up because even if you look at the, the side of the screen right here, you can see that there are quite a few videos about Ice Spice. So all publicity is still publicity, sis. You guys do realize that every time you call somebody colorist or you create controversy, all you're doing is increasing that person's infamy. So a person can still be famous and successful and rich and have a bad brand, kind of like the Kardashians or Kylie Jenner. So you're actually, you're not canceling her fame. Cancel culture doesn't work, especially if you've already reached the level of somebody like Ice Spice. So nice try. This person says, not being a part of the budget for a chicken salad is crazy. Ice Spice, you owe her a chicken salad. How dare you not give her a chicken salad? Also, did anyone else see the videos of Cleo Trappa where she was bragging about being a rich Nigerian? I didn't include that in my other video because I didn't see it until after I had already posted it. But apparently, according to Cleo Trappa herself, she is a rich Nigerian. And so if she's so rich, why couldn't she afford the chicken salad? Why couldn't she afford a lawyer and a person to draw up a contract or a makeup artist or a hairstylist since she was on social media bragging about being a rich Nigerian? Which one is it? This person says, in other words, I Spice is authentic as her hair and shallow as her lyrics. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. So now they're coming for I Spice wearing a weave. But if I were to talk shit about unambiguous black women and say, oh, um, Cleo Trappa is authentic as her lace front. If I were to say something like that, you would say that I'm being a colorist, texturist, and featurist and anti-black. So do you see the hypocrisy? They can dish it out to an exotical, they can dish it out to Ice Spice because they view her as being on a higher pedestal. But if you repeat some of these same insults to a dark skinned black woman, you would be called a colorist, texturist, or featurist. This person says, Ice Spice ain't here to stay y'all. I mean, with the way you guys are talking about her, yes she is because notice how people are talking more about Ice Spice rather than talking about Cleo Trappa's music. You guys ignored Normani, you ignored Kelly Rowland, you're ignoring Cleo Trappa's music. It's not like they actually like Cleo Trappa's music, because they really don't. They just don't like Ice Spice. They just want to support someone so that they can like hate on Ice Spice. They're not going to purchase Cleo Trappa's music or like 
elevate Cleo Trappa to the same level as Ice Spice. Just like how when Baby Storm, a few months ago, Baby Storm is also a rapper who came for Ice Spice. A few months ago, uh, when Baby Storm did the same thing, I, I don't see Baby Storm at any award shows or like, you know, going on a world tour now. I don't see Baby Storm as being on the same level as Ice Spice now. So people only supported Baby Storm because they wanted to hate on Ice Spice. And now they're just doing the same thing with Cleo Trappa. You guys don't actually like Cleo Trappa's music. This person says, Ice Spice wasn't addressing the real issues. You asked someone to come on tour who isn't rich, expected them to pay A-list prices, and denied them to bring help. Uh, actually, Cleo Trappa said that she is rich. Go check her social media. She brags about being a rich Nigerian. So if you're online bragging about how rich you are, you can't get mad if somebody actually believes you and thinks you're rich. This person says, it's weird to me that Lotto was quickly called out for her behavior, but Ice Spice is getting all these passes just because she doesn't show her colorist ways. And it's very obvious that she's colorist. And so do you see what I mean where she's automatically colorist? If you don't get along with the dark-skinned black woman, you're colorist. If you disagree with the dark-skinned black woman, you're colorist. If you hold dark-skinned black women accountable, you're colorist. I still, I haven't even heard Cleo Trappa say that I Spice was colorist against her or did anything colorist. But whenever you're light-skinned, they're going to use colorism. Or if you're mixed race, they're going to use colorism or racism and anti-blackness anti to demonize you. So I have not heard one thing that I Spice said negatively about Cleo Trappa's phenotype. I didn't even hear Cleo Trappa say, hey, I Spice said that I'm like an ugly, dark-skinned black woman. Or, no, I didn't hear any of that. This sounds like it's just two women beefing, but do you see how I Spice is automatically colorist because she's basically uh, not taking any shit from Cleo Trappa? This person says, Ice is not a girl's girl, reeks of insecurity. Do you have this same energy for Ariana Grande? Ariana Grande literally just had an affair with somebody's husband who had a newborn baby. They cheated together. She made a song called Yes And, basically saying I don't give a fuck. And then she went further and made a song called The Boy Is Mine. So I, I'm wondering if women have the same energy for people like Ariana Grande or like non-mixed race women. You know, do you have the same energy for non-black women who are doing similar behaviors or even worse behaviors than I Spice? Cheating with somebody's husband and then making a song about it, trying to flaunt it in that woman's face. Um, why does nobody have any energy for that? Why is all the smoke only for somebody like I Spice? This person says, what Nicki Minaj said, ain't no friends in the game. You ain't learned that yet. Exactly. The fact that Cleo Trappa is, she has such a lack of friendships that she's using the word friend so loosely. This reminds me of women who uh, they think that a guy is their boyfriend when like they've only gone on one date or something. That's how Cleo Trappa comes off. So it's like she puts Ice Spice on such a high pedestal. She's so lonely and desperate for friends to the point where all it takes is you being around Ice Spice for 10 hours and suddenly she's your friend. That's exactly what Cleo Trappa said. She, she admitted that in her video. She was like, oh, I've never been around this girl for more than 10 hours. Okay, so that, that means that she's not your friend. You've only been around her for one day. That means that your business associates, your colleagues, your acquaintances. This person says, the security guy could have chosen to be a gentleman, shaking my head, dark skin, always getting pressed. So because the security guard didn't want to work for her unpaid, it's colorism. So if you don't pick up my bags, you're colorist. If you don't work for me for free, you're colorist. If you don't give me a free tour and treat me like a star, you're colorist. Do you see what I mean with hiding behind colorism and having no actual examples of colorism? The, the security guy, he didn't say, I'm not taking your bags because you're dark skin and I'm not helping dark skin black women. He didn't say that. He didn't say anything. All he said was no. So basically, according to this person, if you say no to a dark skin black woman, you're colorist. This person says, I Spice is proof that a viral moment that leads to fame can make your ego go crazy. Ice hasn't been around long enough or have the talent to be walking around with that type of ego. But guess what? You don't get to determine how big of an ego somebody has. And I've noticed there's this obsession with humbling privileged women. There's an obsession with telling these women, you're not pretty enough to be that confident. You know, you're not talented enough to have that big of an ego. You can't have a big head. Actually, yes, they can. People have big egos all the time. People are arrogant all the time. You don't get to control the level of arrogance somebody has. And so if I Spice wants to be arrogant, she can be arrogant. Are you keeping this same energy with the random men who have 
so much audacity in everyday life? Like, are you keeping the same energy with arrogant white men, arrogant, dusty men, arrogant, random women on the street? Or are you only trying to hold Ice Spice accountable because deep down inside you put Ice Spice on a pedestal? So have you ever noticed that a lot of people, they will try to morality police you. They want to be the arrogance police. Oh, you're not talented enough to be that arrogant. Uh, bitch, there's no rule that says you have to be talented in order to be arrogant. If I want to be arrogant, I can be arrogant. I mean, technically, anybody can be an a-hole if they want to. If I want to be a bitch, I can be a bitch. If I want to be arrogant, I can be arrogant. Random guys do this all the time. There are guys that are homeless right now that are still arrogant. There are guys in the red pill space that are arrogant. So... You don't get to control how arrogant I Spice is. And also, I've noticed that this is another part of good girl syndrome, thinking that like you can only get fame if you deserve it somehow. So, you know, once again, there's this belief in some sort of karmic uh, justice or like some sort of belief that like, you know, it's either God or the devil that gave you that fame. Kind of like what Cleo Trappa said, oh, God didn't bless her. You know, God can't bless someone like I Spice. No, bitch, you don't get to control other people's blessings. You don't get to control how big of an ego a person has. And, and what a lot of people don't realize is some, some women actually will be arrogant as a form of revenge. Very similar to Ikane. Remember how Ikane, she was kind of using arrogance and she was kind of flexing, basically. She was using her flexing and using arrogance as a form of revenge or a way to get back at that woman that was talking shit about her. So even if I Spice is using arrogance, and even if she does have a big ego, who go and check her? This is exactly what I'm saying. Your energy is better off spent on just building yourself up rather than trying to humble other people. Humbling another person is never going to work. And it's especially not going to work if that person is arrogant. Because if a person is arrogant, trying to humble them, that's only going to make them even more arrogant. Because they're going to be thinking, oh, wow, I'm so relevant. You're talking about me. Look at you. You're responding to me. Look at you. You're making videos about me. So even if I Spice is arrogant, calling her arrogant is not going to suddenly make her not arrogant. She's not going to suddenly just crawl into a hole and die now because you said that she has a big ego. And also, I thought that nobody was jealous of I Spice and she has no talent, no beauty, nothing special about her. So what reason does I Spice have to even have an ego in the first place? Why would she have an ego if she's just basic? This person says Cleo Trappa is prettier than Ice Spice. So do you see how they're randomly bringing beauty into it? Nobody was talking about beauty. In fact, Cleo Trappa herself basically said Ice Spice was ugly and looks like a demon without makeup on. If I were to come online, imagine if Ice Spice said, oh, Cleo Trappa looks like Satan if she doesn't have a face full of makeup on. People would call that colors. They would say that that's anti-black. You're not allowed to call unambiguous dark-skinned black women ugly. You're not allowed to call them basic. But notice how, once again, it's that energy of you can dish it out, but you can't take it back. This person says, taking an ancestry test and seeing 20% Nigerian doesn't make one Nigerian. If that's the case, we're all Nigerian, Senegalese, and Cameroonian, as most slaves came from West African countries. She said that to save face. Um, so smiley, you don't get to determine how other people navigate their identities. So I don't, I don't know if I Spice is 20% Nigerian. I don't know if she actually took a DNA test or not. But let's say she did and she is 20% Nigerian. If she wants to show uh, respect or honor towards her Nigerian ancestry, she can. So just because you don't have the freedom to do that with your identity doesn't mean that I Spice can't do that. I feel like this is another variation of the you're not special talking point. Like, oh, if I don't get to be special because of my Nigerian ancestry, you don't get to be special, I Spice. And it's like, no, just because Nigerian ancestry feels basic on you doesn't mean that it feels basic on I Spice. So if she wants to flaunt that or utilize that because she knows that unambiguous Nigerian women will live vicariously through her, such as Cleo Trappa, then guess what? She can do whatever she wants. This person says... I Spice has a very odd complexion to me. She looks very much like a vampire or like her life force has been drained. Kind of like how people look when they bleach their skin. I know that she didn't do that, but that's just the way her complexion looks. And it's not like she has albinism. It's like it's missing warmth. So because I Spice is very pale, you know, she actually is very pale. If you look at her skin tone next to Taylor Swift, I mean, she's damn near the same shade as Taylor Swift. She's very close to Taylor Swift's shade. But it's like, if I were to say something negative 
about a dark skin, ebony complexion black woman and say, oh, her complexion looks weird to me. She looks like a vampire. She looks like a creature. Saying somebody looks like a vampire, that's basically an evil creature that sucks blood. So if I were to say that a dark skinned black woman's complexion makes her look like an evil creature that's going to suck somebody's blood, you would call me a colorist. So do you see the hypocrisy? This person says, I spice definitely lacks personality. Another person says, I spice sounds like a trifling ass bird. So I've noticed a, a pattern where they'll call us birds to uh, kind of make fun of our noses, like having a nose bridge. I'm not sure that that's what that person's trying to do, but I have noticed that pattern. They call Danny Lay a bird. You know, pretty much anyone who's a mixed race woman, um, I've noticed that calling them a bird is going to be found in the comments somewhere. But for the person who said she lacks personality, what is your definition of having personality and who died and made you the queen of determining whether or not somebody has enough personality? Clearly her personality was enough to get her fame and money. But what do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty ladies.